A new state-of-the-art machine is giving hope to people who have been paralysed. The device, which works by sending electrical impulses to a patient's nerves, is being used for the very first time at a hospital in Buckinghamshire. It has given one man the chance to walk again after a car crash left him with terrible injuries. Kate Cooney has more. For David Hartill, every step is a struggle. Each time he moves his left foot, it rolls outwards, almost buckling under his weight. Seven months ago, David suffered catastrophic injuries after crashing as he drove his car around a racetrack in Abu Dhabi. Walking on the floor is like walking on glue. I find it very difficult to lift the foot. David is being treated at the Royal Buckinghamshire Hospital in Aylesbury. He's one of the first patients in the country to be fitted with a special device. One part is strapped to his leg and the other attaches to his shoe. The machine sends electrical impulses to David's nerves to help him regain control over his weakened muscles. Without this, it's very hard to describe just how tiring it is to walk. And obviously if you can walk, it's just, you know, you really feel as though you're making goals to recovery. 22-year-old Brian Colleran was paralysed after a car crash near his home in Ireland. He's travelled to Aylesbury with his family for specialist care. When he arrived here, Brian could do little for himself. Now, though, with the aid of a machine, just like David's, he's able to lift a toothbrush. It does give them a lot of positive, um, a positive hope that yes, there is something which can, apart from the therapy, there is something which, which can just magically give them improvement. The device doesn't just give instant improvement. Over time, it reteaches the brain how to control a patient's muscles, which means every time they use it, their mobility becomes a little better. It's a very emotional um, situation in which you get somebody who can't pick something up without the device, but then when they have the device, they can be independent. David works hard at his exercises every day. His goal, he says, is to get back to normal. Kate Cooney in Aylesbury for Meridian Tonight. And well, we wish him all the very best. Now, it is.